Greetings and I would like with great pleasure to share a new publication from me that's just come out uh, on the 1st of December and it's this book called The Commentaries of Setsuna an a historical collection of Japanese wisdom now I had the uh, the good fortune to come across these um, these writings or commentaries of Setsuna and that had been translated initially by Makoto Sazaki and as I relate in the introduction uh, through their family they passed it uh, to a friend and then to me who I was given the, um, the right to publish them in a rendered English form. Um, Makoto had initially translated them from medieval Japanese into um, modern Japanese and then a very literal English. And I got them and I've kind of rendered them into a modern form or poetic form of English. Now, Setsuna, very little is known about the character of Setsuna. It seemed that he was some kind of samurai warrior, but also some kind of mystic kind of figure as well. And in the medieval times in Japanese history, he would write his thoughts, comments or aphorisms onto these clay tablets and leave them scattered around the place. And after a time, this his fame or these tablets got to be uh, known and people would collect them and take them home to their families and uh, as keepsakes and or as kind of uh, icons or things you they kept on the wall to read as and that but over over the years they just kind of fell out of favor or fashion and became almost unknown until um until this um historian Makoto decided to try to collect as many of them as possible and to bring them together. So it's the first time that they've ever been published in English. Um, and so really we're in this book we've um, put them together, formatted them as, as short commentaries and we had and it's a very nice pleasant book with some images floating through it and um, I will read some there are I think a hundred in total yes a hundred in total just opening on page on the on the hundredth one it begins off by saying do not let the self be mute whilst the mind runs ahead with its noisy ramblings the self wishes to rise to the surface like a sea creature wishing for air. Do not push it down under the waters with your muteness. That's half it. I'm not going to read all of it. That would be, that would be a spoiler alert. Um, I'm going to read some extracts here and there. I have no plan as to where to go. I'll start with the first one. Do not lose touch with the mystery. The greatest mystery is that of being human. You are a treasure to find. The mystery must begin with you. You are the starting point. Make the abstract into something concrete. You have to make the enchanting mystery into the tangible you. Do not wait for the gods. The gods are waiting for you. That's an extract from it. I'm not going to read all the ones. I'm going to read extracts from various ones. So... Um, an extract from number 10. Emotions are like kites, whose strings are pulled here and there by external hands. Bring your kite down to earth. Be the wind, not those trifles that flutter upon uncertain gusts. Um, an extract here from number 29. Do not invite your ailments to stay as guests. Your inflictions of depression, anxiety, stress, and other invasions try to deny your glory. 
Such ailments try to persuade you that you are not good enough or not worthy. They are cruel delusions. Do not listen to ugly detractors. Deny them their false glory. Looking at number 30, um, are you one of those persons who feed upon their shadows? The shadow is simply a name given for that which cannot be directly known. This unknown within, the unknowingness, can haunt you. It nibbles away at you and rattles your sense of well-being. Do not live at the whim of fantasies. And there's more and more. Um, Number 40, it is said the human being becomes its own worst enemy, yet you are also your own best saviors. Become porous, allow the world to move through you. Let your perceptions be a subtle lens. Remember, there is a constant flow from within without and without within as waters in constant flux and movement. Only the shadow deludes you into being static like stone. I read the whole number 40 there, I couldn't resist. Um, I mean, mm -hmm. cut the cord of treachery, break away and set sail upon the glory waters where you belong. You have been waiting for yourselves all along. That's the end of number 62. Um, be mindful to keep your central tasks close to your heart. Resist the influence of the broken world to take away your essential humanness. That's a part extract from number 78. Be one of those few who seek for meaning in life. Elevate yourself from the material dross. Unhappiness is an epidemic. People are spreading the virus of passivity and lethargy. That's an extract from 85. Mm -hmm. Some people have gone so far out of themselves that they have lost their way back home. The human being is at the center, circumference and everywhere. Transform yourself away from the crooked workings of this world. Extract from number 89. And maybe one more. Do not fear for the loss of your identity. It was only a temporary one loan to you. It was never you. You know who you are when you can feel at home in the distracting circles of this world. Extract from number 97. So, um, there's a lot more in there. I just read a very few things. It's um, 180 pages of a historical Japanese wisdom from Setsuna, which... I think is a bit of a treasure really because Setsuna has never been known to the world. Um, their clay tablets have been kind of left idle for centuries uh, until Makoto Sasaki um, gathered them and uh, passed on the English translations through his family to me. And so uh, with great pleasure I now set set sooner um, onto the world um, and a fitting end I think to quite a tumultuous year 2022 we all need now and again um, a bit of light coming through um, well thanks for listening and um, hope to connect again soon have a good one cheers